We did a little um, long scalp this morning on the uh, little second day squeeze here and the excitement buyers. Um, this whole week has been just wild with the, uh, the small cap runners and the, the low float runners. I mean, just today, DXR went from 8 to 21. Um, RKDA, which is what we traded this morning, yesterday went from 11 to 55. You know, it's just ridiculous. INNT from 5 to 25 over a couple days. NETE went from 5 to 14. It's just been wild this week. Um, but anyway, some of these monsters, you know, and there's just enormous volume and a tiny float. RKDA was um, 80.28 divided by 37.6. It's just a little over 2 million. Sorry, it's changing so fast. Yeah, it's a 2 million float pretty much, 2.13 million. And uh, you know, I had 30 million shares traded yesterday, or okay, 14 million. So the float traded seven times and it ran up. pretty extreme way from 12 to 55 but anyways this morning you know there were a lot of people that shorted it up here this is all just a, a wild short squeeze on a tiny float and um so this morning when it dipped i bought it 44 and then uh you know just 100 shares real quick because these are so dangerous that my stop loss was right under here if it broke 40 you know, I would get rid of it. So I could have lost, you know, 400 bucks, but I, I had a feeling this was going to happen because usually on the second day, there's still some shorts from the uh, the close. And then there's also some people who are looking for continuation and they get excited looking for this morning pop, which, you know, I was one of them. And every once in a while on these tiny floats, especially when the actual widespread market is acting a particular way with all these continuing multi-day squeezers and runners, um, it's worth taking a little, you know, the risk reward is so, so good on these sometimes. Um, yeah, I jumped in at 44 right here on the dip in the pre-market and then ran it up to, uh, what did it make? About 800 bucks. RKDA right here. I think we made 800. Um, yeah, I bought it at 44 and then sold it at 52. So uh, just right here in the morning, um, right here, and then whenever it up into this first squeeze, uh, I just sold it off in there and, and got out just because this was kind of dangerous. And I don't really like going long unless it's either a perfect setup or one of these. Uh, tiny float squeezers on the second day if I see a lot of interest in it. So, I mean, we're only in it for a couple minutes and um, made 800 bucks. So every once in a while you can get in on these and, and do this, but just keep your, keep your, uh, keep your stop losses real tight on these because they're very dangerous. As you can see now, it's tanking after that initial pop and squeeze. Um, but yeah, it was, it was worth the risk. Absolutely.